So this time we'll be looking at the from wave 12 of the DC Universe Classics line, Mary Marvel, or as she's listed on the package, Mary Batson. Got a nice looking face there. Of course she does have two versions, the red one which you see here, and the white version of course being a female uh, the hair does impede her uh, neck posability but you do have uh, some some side to side as well as up and down uh, her skirt here limits her legs to uh, very few poses. She has very loose knees. She does have this kind of new female articulation. She has this shoulder joint that has her the regular uh, DC Universe Classics articulation up and down and in and out. Um, she does have a bicep swivel, which is nice, um, very different from the uh, previous female ones. Uh, it's just flat. Um, and it makes use of that sleeve line on her costume to carry that out. Uh, she bends at the elbow. Um, too much. She actually hyperextends her arm there um, and swivels at the wrist. And she's very, very, very thin. So, but the good news is that it doesn't seem to be uh, as uh, fragile as the older female figures are. On this side, you're going to run into a little problems just because of the cape. Uh, is in the way. Now she doesn't have any of the abdominal uh, articulation, but and because of her skirt and the way it's put together, she can't have full use of her uh, waist articulation, uh, nor uh, full use of her leg articulation even though there is some give in the skirt. She does have uh, a swivel at the upper thigh, a bend at the leg, again, uh, very, very loose. Rotation at the calf, and her ankle goes forward and up and down. It's quite poseable for such a small frame uh, again the only problem I have is with the knee but you just have to play around with her a little bit to get her in the right uh, pose to get her standing up. She first appears in Captain Marvel Adventures number 18 in 1942 uh, in the Golden Age, she is the long-lost sister of Billy Batson, uh, split up when they were orphaned by their parents' car crash. She, through a twist of fate, happens to uh, take part in a contest that is being run by the station that uh, her brother Billy uh, works for, and that's how they meet up. She finds out that he's Captain Marvel and that Freddie Freeman is Captain Marvel Jr. They're uh, captured by gangsters and neither of them can obviously in front of the gangsters say the magic word and become their alter egos so uh, she finally says Shazam and turns into the superpowered uh, teenager proceeds to save them and Captain Marvel dubs her Mary Marvel 
they were given a little bit of an uh, update when DC bought them in the early 70s. They uh, became residents of the uh, the alternate Earth known as uh, Earth S. It was um, that sort of continuity lasted until uh, Crisis when everything got restarted and uh, again the they were orphaned uh, in a slightly different way. Uh, her, their parents uh, of Billy and Mary uh, were CC and Marilyn Batson, and they had joined the Savannah-funded expedition to Egypt uh, to excavate some dig sites, archaeological sites. They took Mary with them but left Billy with a relative. The Batsons were then murdered by Theo Adam, who had become the modern Black Adam, and uh, Mary is then taken by Theo Adam to his sister, uh, who arranges an adoption, an illegal adoption of the child by the fam by this family known as Broomfield. The Broomfields are unaware that this whole thing is um, illegal. They raise the girl uh, as their own child. Flash forward a few years, and uh, Billy is uh, in this continuity. Kind of he's also working for a radio station. Of course, being a child. Uh, reporter has some sort of celebrity and so he's the host of this spelling bee that Mary enters and they kind of have realize there's some connection again she has to uh, access the powers of Shazam to save Billy who is tied up in front of um, somebody and uh, can't reveal that he's uh, Captain Marvel, so uh, she says Shazam and is turned into uh, uh, actually a more adult, not a superpowered teenager, but a more adult looking um, like Billy. Uh, when he transforms into Captain Marvel, uh, he actually is said to resemble his deceased father. And when she transforms into Mary Marvel, she is said to uh, resemble her dead mother. She has uh, gone through a lot in the last couple of years. Uh, she lost her powers during the when the uh, Rock of Eternity was destroyed, and uh, she went then to Black Adam to get some of his power. Uh, unfortunately that power corrupted her um, and she came under the influence of first Eclipso and then Darkseid and got you know meaner and eviler and uh, she started wearing a black version of her costume. And then once she escaped Darkseid she was again corrupted by the power of Black Adam, and finally, uh, the wizard Shazam so uh, ticked off at uh, the way the, his powers have been used by Black Adam and the way that both Billy and Mary were corrupted by uh, by his power that he removed all their powers, and so. Now the only par person of the Marvel family that is uh, powered by the uh, magical powers of Shazam is Freddie Freeman who uh, has taken on the uh, title of Captain Marvel. Uh, that's it. So long and until my next video. See ya.